She's asking about two things, about presence, which we have a, a term for. Uh, of course, uh, trees don't have terms for that, and, and kitty cats don't have terms for that, but humans have terms for presence. How does presence fit in? So I will now try to achieve presence. Presence is a part of our natural state <clears throat> before we, we are become fanatic. Now, I shouldn't say fanatic. I would say desperate, in desperate pursuit of protection, and we're <clears throat> and we get ahead of ourselves. We start buying insurance for the next moment and the next moment and the next moment, whatever that form of insurance is: reputation, skills, uh, people we know. Then we we are here now. We never are any place else but here now. But of course, our minds can go other places. And uh, since our minds go to other places, we then think then we have to achieve this new thing called presence, when really all we have to do is have our minds not go to all these, new pla all these places, and we are here now because we never were anyplace else. So as in most spiritual pursuits, which become nouns and become uh, 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 points of success and aspiration, I, <clears throat> I am explaining a process of uncovering, uncovering presence, which is there, hidden beneath all the frantic activity and covering. And uh, so uh, that uncovering is a process, and sometimes it's messy because we do talk to ourselves nonstop. And uh, in pursuit of having everything come out okay, and then we start talking to ourselves about something else, which is not okay. So uh, once we learn that, that uh, that's happening and that's self-destructive, then it's possible that that uh, inner talking can decrease and what comes up that was hidden beneath it was, uh, was we're here now. So the idea of having a mantra saying, I'm here now, I'm here now, I'm here now, I'm here, is, is uh, the antithesis of what I teach. 